We're going to turn to that rare find now from one of the most fascinating movie stars ever. A long-lost scrapbook belonging to Marilyn Monroe stocked with revealing photographs, her own writing, and a startling secret has been revealed. ABC's Chris Connolly goes inside the covers. Newsweek magazine is calling it The Lost Scrapbook, a previously unknown and pricelessly personal keepsake of Marilyn Monroe photographs. She was huge. She was beautiful and gorgeous and embodied so much of Hollywood and power. Wearing a dress or just a towel in these images, Marilyn selected them herself, then gave them in booklet form as a birthday gift to photographer Sam Shaw with her own witty, handwritten, just between us captions scrawled in crayon. A girl has no privacy when she works, reads one. Another winkingly references Sidney Skolsky, a gossip columnist of the era. And next to this photo, hmm, dreaming of you, Sam. These are the photos that she chose. These are the feelings she had. The discovery of the scrapbook is also significant because it's the first time that we're really understanding her relationship with Sam Shaw. So the big question, were Marilyn and Sam Shaw lovers? One man tells Newsweek, yes. Journalist Lauren Schiller, who took photos of Marilyn during her last film, Something's Got to Give. I was afraid he'd misunderstand about that. In the magazine, Schiller says that Sam Shaw gave him the lost scrapbook in 1973 and adds, he even confided in me that at one point he'd had an affair with Marilyn. Shaw, who died in 1999, may be best known for snapping this iconic shot of Marilyn over a subway grate during the filming of the seven-year itch. Ooh, do you feel the breeze from the subway? The Marilyn millions prefer to remember is showcased in Newsweek's The Lost Scrapbook, where she remains disarmingly clever, effortlessly sexy, and endlessly mesmerizing. For Good Morning America, Chris Connolly, ABC News, Los Angeles.